not being able to remember names and nouns. Names and nouns were the two things that were the first to go. I'd be in the middle of a sentence and I, I couldn't finish it. The official diagnosis of Alzheimer's coincided pretty closely with the beginning of COVID. In a sense, I was relieved because it gave it a name, but it was also a little disconcerting and a little scary. I started telling friends, I said, love me or leave me. I mean, this is, this is who I am. So many people say, you don't have Alzheimer's because most of the time I can carry on a pretty coherent conversation. In many people's minds, the word Alzheimer's means, oh, this is, you know, really awful. And yes. it isn't, yes. it isn't really awful. Yes. <laughs> I feel as if I'm two-sided. There's the part of me that's normal and, and doing fine, and there's the part of me that's normal but not doing so fine. It is impacting our lives more, but the increase is so gradual that, that we'll, we'll, sort of, we'll adjust to it and then we'll fall behind in our adjustment and then learn to catch up and, and adjust more. One of the things that's different is that Quentin gets more irritable when I do things that are wacky, or if I ask the same question three times in a row. The nice thing is that when he gets really irritable, we end up in a nice big hug. <laughs> so that feels good. There is still so much love, but it takes on new, new aspects in order, in order to work with the current reality. And that, I love growing into that. And it is a growth process. Yeah. There are things that we share that are really essential to each of us individually and as a couple. And that is our, our love of music. Every day we go for a walk. And I love those. We, I think yeah, it's fair good. to say that we both love the yeah, walks. And for as long and as we can, we'll go to Maine for yeah, almost absolutely, half the year. Absolutely. And that, that's a great joy. What hasn't changed? I still love music. I still love my husband. I'm so aware of my having Alzheimer's. It is so much a part of me. It's something that I just live with and it's who I am. In one sense, I, I hate Alzheimer's. In another sense, I'm, it, it's given me gifts. I've always had a certain element of me that is self-critical and um, and I still am sometimes, I get annoyed at myself, but I'm adapting to it and I'm accepting of it and accepting of me. And I think that's, that's new and different and I appreciate that.